Hello everyone and welcome to Teach Yourself Maths. In today's lesson, we will be looking at Lesson 3 and on Use Place Value to Multiply. The first thing I'm going to show you is the model we're going to be using and what it represents. This long bar like this, we're going to use it to represent 10. Okay, so this is going to represent 10. Since it's a base 10 block, okay? Why the small one? just like a small square is going to represent one so just one so with this understanding let's see how we can use these models to multiply the very first example we have here says we should find 3 times 23 3 times 23 Take notes, the one digit tells you the number of groups you are going to have. As you can see here, there is a repetition of group 1. We have another same group, the same thing, group 2, and another group in red, group 3. So that shows there are three groups. What about this 23? Very easy to do. 3 is in the 1's place and 2 is in the 10's place so 2 10's that is 20 okay so that means you're gonna have 3 in the 1's place 3 times that is 3 groups and 20 also in 3 groups so the very first one here um, if we have so we have 3, you see that, another 3 in 3 groups, and another 3 in 3 groups. And 3 plus 3 plus 3 will give you 9. Next, we can look at another part. Let me use green. So we have 20. We have 20. So in three places, so in the green now we have group 1, 20, group 2, another 20, and group 3, another 20. Okay, so which is what we have here. Step 2, 20, 20, and 20. So this is 20 plus 20 plus 20. And that's going to give you 60. So with that, we can fill in our answer. This 9, of course, is in the 1's place. So you put 9. And in the 10th place result, we have 6. 6. So the final answer is 69. 69. Okay, very good. Uh, we're going to take a look at another example quickly. So if I ask you now, in this question, try this, it says find 2 times 32. So 2 times 32, that means there will be 2 groups. 2 groups of what? 2 in the 1's place, 2, and 3 in the 10's place, that is 3, 10, that is 30. So 2 groups of 2 and 2 groups of 30. Okay, and remember that each of these blocks represents 10. So another 10, another 10, making 30. So two groups. Group 1. Okay, let's start with this. So in the group 1, let's do the 2 first. The 2 in two places. So this is 2 and another 2. So that is 2 plus 2, which will give us 4 ones. So this is 4 ones. Next, we do the tens place, which is 30 and another 30. 
So you had, what is 30 plus 30? That's going to give us 60. So in the ones place, you put the number here, 4. And in the tens place, the number is 6, 10. So you put 6. So your final answer, 2 times 32 is 64. Okay, very interesting. So this one says, talk about it. So let's see. The question is asking you, how would you model 2 times 22? 2 times 22. Just as we did the other time, first you know that with these two, it means there will be two groups. Okay? And in each group, since it is 22, we have, so there will be two ones, okay? Two ones and uh, two tens. Two tens. That is two zero, which is 20. In two groups. So how would you model this? So there will be two groups. So we're going to have two groups. There will be two groups. Okay. In each group, with, let's say with each group, there will be two groups with each group having uh, two ones and uh, 20 or two tens or two tens okay so that's how we're gonna model it and uh, let me put it here something like this 10 20 and the uh, two ones one two two groups another group 10 20 with two ones one two finish so number two says, justify your conclusion. Would you rather use base 10 blocks, counters, or mental math to model activity one? So since it's talking about model uh, activity one, and that we are using a base 10 block, so uh, base 10 blocks would be prefer. Base 10 blocks is prefer. Is preferred okay since it is quicker and easier it is quicker and easier all right guys so this is it about this lesson and um, you can try all these by yourself pause the video and quickly try this before you check the answer 3 times 22 don't forget your 22 is gonna be two ones and uh, two tens that is 20 and there will be three groups of that so group one 10 20 with two ones group two 10 20 with two ones and group three 10 20 with two ones so if you do the two first that's two plus 2 plus 2 which will give you 6 and the 20 in 3 groups plus 20 plus 20 which will give you 60 so your final answer 66 alright guys take a look at the other questions and give it a try see you in our last lesson bye bye